الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد حبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى سيس في كتابه الكريم وسابقون الاولون من المهاجرين والانصار والذين اتبعهم باحسان رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه وعد لهم جنات تجري تحتها الانهار خالدين فيها ابدا الله سبحانه وتعالى سيس في كتاب الكريم ان سوره سوره التوبه ايه 100 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and the first, or from the first, or those foremost, from the muhajireen, those who made hijrah from Mecca to Medina, will ensar those who receive the muhajireen in, uh, from the people of Medina. وَلَذِينَ اَتَّبَعُهُمْ bi'asan, And those who followed them in righteousness. رضي الله عنه Allah is pleased with him وردوا عن and they are pleased with Allah or they are pleased with him and he has prepared for them paradise under which rivers flow beneath under which rivers flow or rivers flow uh, under which rivers flow خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أَبَدًا And they will dwell therein forever. This is the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we have to ask ourselves, were the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam رضي الله تعالى عنهم اجمعين Were they takfiri? Did they declare and abuse other Muslims and decree them to be wicked sinners and with wicked mubtadi'ah and and wicked disbelievers is this what the sahaba to rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in was this the path they were upon were the sahaba to rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in were they of the creed of those people who claim to love ahl bayt who, who cause physical harm to them and their children by cutting themselves, celebrating the death or the martyrdom of Hassan and Hussein. Were the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam instruments for this practice? Was this from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Did the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam رضي الله تعالى عنهم اجمعين Did they have the creed of the Ashairah? Did they have Ashari creed? When Abu Hassan al-Ashari He came way after the Sahaba رضي الله تعالى عنهم اجمعين I believe Sina 150 or after Hijri So how is it that they didn't have the creed of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when they were there with revelation, and they don't believe like the Ashadis believe. They don't say Allah subhanahu wa taala. They don't negate Allah subhanahu wa taala is above His throne in a manner that suits His Majesty. Sahaba radiyallahu anhu majmain didn't do this. We don't have any statements like this. Hatim burhanakum in kuntum sadiqin. Bring your proof if you are truthful. So what I advise myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam to do is take this statement of Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala قال Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala وَكُلُّ مِنْ صَحَابَ مُنِيبِ لَاللَّهِ تَعَالَى فَيَجِبُ وَاعْتِبَى سَبِيلُهُ وَأَقْوَالُهُ وَاعْتِقَادَاتُهُ مِنْ أَكْبَرْ سَبِيلُهُ Everyone from the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu was making tawbah or coming closer to Allah. They were repenting to Allah. They believed and loved and were humble and worshipped Allah alone. They didn't go to the graves and worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or make dua to other than Allah 
But instead, they were coming closer to Allah. They were repenting to Allah. Then he said, فَيَجِبُ اِتِبَعَ سَبِيلُهُ And it's an obligation to follow their path. Or that, that sabil, the sabil of the Sahaba, that way of the Sahaba, the menhaj of the Sahaba, the methodology of the Sahaba, the i'tiqad, the creed of the Sahaba. وَأَقْوَالُهُ and their statements, their sayings, وَإِتِقَادَاتُهُ and their belief. The Sahabas, رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين, didn't promote the Ashari Creed. They didn't promote the Sufism that we know today. They didn't promote the Takfir and the extreme, the extremism that we see today. They fought the Khawarij because the Prophet والسلام, said they are the dogs of the hellfire. وَهُمْ كِلَابَ النَّارِ الْخَوَارِجْ كِلَابَ النَّارِ The Khawarij are the dogs of the hellfire. This is what we see in Abu Bakr Baghdadi. This is what we see in Adnani, the one who was killed. This is what we see from the leaders of the dogs of the hellfire today, ISIL, Al-Qaeda, Zawahiri, uh, Abu Mus'ab, Zarqawi, Bin Laden, and other than them, from Boko Haram, their, their whole distorted and wicked organization that spreads wickedness and fear, kills people in the fish markets, employs women to blow themselves up, young girls to blow themselves up, suicide, killing themselves and killing whoever's around it from the women and the children and the elderly and the sick and anyone else in between. In the Masajid, it's not sacred to them. They're the dogs of the hellfire. And they all are away from the Aqidah of the Sahaba, they're all away from the Aqidah of Ahlul Sunnati with Jama'ah. They're all away from the Aqidah of the Salaf al Salih. They're all away from the Aqidah from Ahla Athar wa Ahla Hadith. And they're all away from the Aqidah in Minhaj of the Salafiyun. Those people who strive to follow, who strive to follow Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ala Madhab, ala Minhaj. As-Salaf al-Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim. My brothers and sisters in Islam, learn your religion. Learn the Arabic, uh, the Arabic language so you can go to the text of the religion. You can go to the sources of the religion. You can compare the wickedness that you see around us in the Bid'ah and the Khurafat and all this other, this, uh, this Ilhad, the assaults on Tawheed, the assaults on monotheism. You can distinguish between Haq and Batil, the truth and falsehood. You can see when people are extreme in, in declaring others as innovators. When people are extreme in declaring others as disbelievers. When the people are extreme when following up the people's mistakes and sins and calling them Fusaq. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and forgive us of our many sins. Bless us all with ikhlas, with the bad Allah sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.